You know, I made a special request. My father wrote that song. That's the theme for Mo Better Blues. Thank you for playing it. Yes, uh, beautiful. The movie Mo Better Blues. Now, you, you know John because he was in Red Hook Summer, one yes, of your films. Yes, yes, And he's one of New Orleans' greatest. He's amazing. He's amazing. Keeping that jazz tradition alive, the New uh, Orleans. For those of you who need a little, out there, for those who need a little education, you are a writer, producer, director, actor known for She's Gotta Have It, School Days, Do the Right Thing, Jungle Fever, Malcolm X, uh, Inside Man, and Old Boy. Right. You're so prolific, you've made... Oh, you left out something. What did I leave out? I'm a tenure professor at the NYU Graduate Film School. Oh, really? <laughs> a tenured professor? Tenure. That I'm means a... you can get away with almost anything. They can't fire me. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's test that tonight, Spike. Uh, there, there, there. Now, the new film is called Chirac, yes. which is a uh, combination of Chicago and Iraq. Yes. Okay, name... why, why that combo? Well, you have to ask. I mean, really, I did not come with that name. It's local Chicago rappers came with that name who felt that the, not all Chicago, but the South Side Chicago is a war zone. And so they feel, probably even today, that it's safe in Iraq than it is on the South Side of Chicago. Well, um, the, the stats on that are uh, since 2001, more Americans have died in Chicago than Iraq and Afghanistan combined. Right. Okay, what's the root of this violence? What's causing it? Well, it's many different things, but I think that one thing I really hope people come out of the film when they see it is that we have to have a really a real, a real discussion about guns in this country. I'm not talking about taking away anybody's Second Amendment rights, but there's certain things that we can do. Uh, tougher background checks. We could title guns like cars. I mean, Chicago is a very, very tight. Thank you. And I would say many, go many people, members of the NRA, agree with this stuff. Mm -hmm. Chicago is a very, very tight gun control law. But you, go to, you get in the car 20 minutes, half an hour, and you're in Indiana. The film takes its plot from the, the, the Greek comedy Les Estrada. Satire. Yes, Satire? it was written, okay. written 411 BC by Aristophanes. Okay, tell the people what happens in that one. Well, for those who didn't take English, Greek literature, <laughs> the play is about a character named Les Estrada who is tired of war in Greece. So she gets women together and say, let's form a sex strike. Let's withhold sex from our boyfriends, husbands, or male acquaintances and make them put this, not guns back then, but put the spears down, knives, whatever, and... Uh, and no sex until the war's over. Yes. And there's a woman named, I always forget it, pronounce, mispronounce her last name, Lima Guabi. She won a Nobel Peace Prize in early 2000 because she used that same tactic in Liberia and it stopped the second civil war. She won a Nobel Peace Prize for that. So wow. it can't. Do you think that would, that would work in Chicago? Because I understand that there's one woman in Chicago from just seeing the trailer actually started a sex strike. She's up to 37 people and uh, <laughs> but I would wow, like. Wow, what a compliment to you. But I would like to say this. What's, what's, what's happening on college campuses today, you know, what happened at University of Missouri where the football players got together and said, unless the president resigned, we weren't going to play? I think that that could really, a sex strike could really work on college campuses where there's abundance of sexual harassment or date rapes. That's a college campus, university, I think that will work right away. Second semester is going to happen. <laughs> Once people come back from Christmas, and some stuff jumps off, there's going to be sex strikes on universities and college camp colleges across this country. I believe it. Well, you've got some amazing cast in this. Um, Samuel L. Jackson's yes. in this. What's it like to direct Samuel L. Jackson? I don't. You don't? <laughs> he said, are you ready, Mr. Jackson? Yes, Spike. Action! <laughs> um, and now, tomorrow, oh, there is actually a video that's coming out in Chicago. I think it's coming out today. Today. Yes. Of a young man named Laquan McDonald. Yes. Who uh, was shot by police and the police one, officer. One officer. What? One officer, I think. One officer, and he has been indicted right. um, uh, for this shooting. Um, some people were against this video being released, the dash cam video. It's being released today. 
Do you, do you believe that it's always better to see the event, even if it can incite a violent reaction? Because people are very worried about this video being released. Right. I think that, number one, they're worried because they think that the black folks in Chicago are going to run amok. And I don't know if that's necessary. So I think there's a way to have peaceful demonstrations without tearing stuff up. That's what I feel. And I got that from Father Flager in Chicago. Yeah, I hope you're right. I hope it is peaceful. I'm hopeful that nothing crazy happens, but I'm, I'm glad that, that the tape has been released because this is, uh, this is democracy. And sometimes I don't think we could pick and choose what America should see. Um, I noticed around your neck. Yeah. You've got a cross. Yes. I noticed, I noticed around your neck you've got a cross, and you also have another symbol. That is not a peace symbol. Yes, it is. No, it's a Mercedes symbol. <laughs> All right, which, which writer wrote that up? Thank you, Spike. Chirac, his theater is December 4th.